I'm not sure who needs to hear this message, but God wants you to stop being sad. If our brain is bigger than a bird's brain, how come a lot of times we can feel more burdened down than a bird if our brain is bigger than a bird's brain? That tells us a lot of times we can use our mind to our detriment, meaning we're worrying about stuff that we shouldn't even be worrying about. The Bible says, come to me, all ye who are burdened and heavy laden, meaning those who are worn down, burdened. The Bible says, come to me, all ye who are burdened and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. What is rest? That's freedom from your stress, struggle, and strain. Maybe you're feeling sad today. That's not how God wants you to feel. God wants you to give him what worries you. He wants you to give him your cares. He wants you to live fear-free in a fear-filled world. Because fear stands for false evidence appearing real. It's not even real. It's just an illusion from the enemy. The enemy wants you to think, worry about this. Worry about that. What about this? What if this happened? What if they say this? What if this happened? What if they fire you? What if somebody do this? What if somebody steal this? What if this happened? What if something happened to that person? What if this? What if, ah, blah, 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 blah. No, don't give no attention to that. <laughs> We keeping our eyes on Jesus <laughs> and the peace that he gives us. The Bible says he will keep in perfect peace those whose minds are steadfast on him. Another translation says he will keep in perfect peace those whose minds are fixed on him. So today, if you want to stop being sad and get glad, and get glad you need to fix your mind and your eyes on Jesus. Because where your focus goes, your effort flows. Where your focus goes, your attention goes. And when you put your eyes on Jesus and you start to magnify him and you forget about your situation, ooh, that's when you get that attitude of gratitude. And see, that determines your altitude in terms of how high you go in your day. That's not to say you, uh, if you would, disregard your situation or that you stop, you know, caring about what it is that you're going through because you may be going through a caring time. But God wants you to put it in his hands and trust in him. And know that he's undefeated. He's been doing this way before you were born. He know how to make the crooked thing straight. He knows how to work that situation out. Seven miles till empty. Should I get gas or make a video? I'm going to make a video. <laughs> Forget the gas, dog. Let's keep going, boy. Because I'm running off the word of God and I'm feeling real good. And I'm going to keep on going long as I'm trusting in God. I trust more in God's ability to succeed rather than my own inability to fail. I'm going to keep on going. I need you to keep on going too. Don't let nothing stop you. You keep on going. Don't be feeling sad. You wake up and put a smile on your face because God is fighting your battles. The Bible says be still and know that I'm God. I need you to be still today. Have a calm and a quietness. Tell your soul it is settled because God is stepping in on this situation. And that's when a smile go on your face. I need you to research this. It takes less muscles to smile than it does to frown. <laughs> so choose to smile today. I love you so much. If you made it to the end of this video, I need you to hit that like button. Then I need you to comment the words. I'm running off the word of God. Because that's right. This vehicle don't run off gas, boy. It runs off the word of God. As long as you stay in God's word, you can keep on running too, boy. I love you so much, boy or girl. <laughs> I love you so much. I'll see you in the next video.